everyone, I'm Joyce the Dentist. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the off-label uses for a popular cosmetic drug, Botox. Now, Botox is what we call an injectable neurotoxin. Most of what you've probably heard about using Botox is how we use it to treat things like wrinkles, creases in the skin, and signs of aging. But a lot of us dentists also use Botox for non-cosmetic treatments, such as grinding your teeth. Chronic teeth clenching and grinding is a condition that we call bruxism. Now, there are tons of reasons why someone might have bruxism or tend to grind their teeth. One of the most common reasons is because of everyday stress, like from our jobs, relationships, relationship problems, or even major health changes that we're trying to cope with. The same reason why we get tension headaches or sore shoulders from tensing up from stress can also make us clench and grind our teeth. Why does it matter if we clench our teeth? For one, if we're constantly grinding our teeth together, it can wear down the enamel at an accelerated rate. Even though teeth are the strongest thing in your body, constant tooth-on-tooth -tooth wear can lead to accelerated enamel wear. Second, all of that wear can break down any dental work that you might have had. Maybe you just got dental veneers or had a new crown placed. Even the best dental fillings can't hold up to the consistent teeth clenching. They will eventually give out and fracture, leaving your tooth in worse shape than before. And third, chronic bruxism can contribute to problems like TMJ disorder and headaches, mostly from the jaw being constantly overworked while it contracts and clenches your teeth together. With all of the tension around your jaw joints, this can lead to sore muscles, limited range of motion, and even pain that feels like earaches. So how does Botox help? Since Botox is a natural muscle relaxer, your dentist can inject it at specific points around your jaw. When it takes effect, it lessens the tension in your joints, face, neck, and even as far down to your shoulders when your jaw is relaxed. This in turn reduces how severely your jaws are clenching and grinding your teeth together. If you've never had Botox treatment before, the results can take a few days to a few weeks before they are fully noticeable. The effects can last a few months or more at a time, so reapplications or touch-ups can be scheduled during your normal dental checkups or between your routine dental exams. Botox for teeth clenching and grinding is ideal for people who experience bruxism while they're sleeping or constantly battling tension headaches and other TMJ disorder symptoms. Since it's an FDA approved and non-surgical treatment, Botox is a great resource to have in your toolbox. Depending on the severity of your bruxism, your dentist might recommend Botox after trying other things like using a bite splint or night guard. But it is best to have your dentist evaluate whether this is the best treatment for you because you don't want the Botox to mask other symptoms of other things like sleep apnea. Botox can also be recommended by your dentist if you find it impossible to sleep with a night guard in your mouth. Botox might be a little bit more comfortable and convenient for that situation. Plus, unlike a night guard, you don't have to worry about taking it anywhere with you or a pet chewing it up when you aren't looking or remembering to wear it every single day. To get Botox for teeth grinding, make sure you find a dental provider who is certified in injectable therapies. Not all dentists offer Botox or are trained to provide this treatment, and it sometimes depends on the area that you live in. It's usually an extra type of certification that your dentist will need to get, and it really varies depending on the state that they live in and their regulations. If your dentist doesn't provide Botox, they may be able to refer you to other providers in the area that do. Be sure to talk to your dental provider about what other things you've tried in the past as well, such as bite splints, night guards, or even cognitive behavioral therapy, which can help with how we physically handle the stress. Now, let's say you're a good candidate for Botox. Your dentist can usually administer the treatment on the same day, but every office is a little bit different, so double check with your provider. The tiny little injections feel more like mosquito bites. You can hold a cold compress there for a few seconds before the medication is administered to sort of numb your skin. A lot of people say they hardly feel a thing when they get Botox, but if it's your first time getting it, you'll want to be prepared for possible redness or bruising. While it's rare, you probably don't want your first Botox treatment to be during your lunch break when you're about to head right back to work. But if you've had Botox before and know how your body usually reacts, you can easily squeeze the treatment into one of your breaks. Teeth clenching and grinding is a lot more serious than people realize. Not only can it tear up otherwise perfectly healthy teeth, but it can also cause significant pain on a day-to-day -day basis. Asking your dentist about Botox is a smart way to get ahead of broken, worn teeth and TMJ pain. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.